watching possibly the greatest footballer ever at the absolute peak of his powers. And then Ronaldo! Oh, look at this, Kevin. It's a brilliant run for Messi. Can he go all the way? Now, when I say the word football, the first two people that come to your mind are probably these two. Socrates and Plato. <clears throat> I mean Messi and Ronaldo. Messi and Ronaldo together have achieved various historical milestones in this sport. Coming to be considered as two of the best players of all time. They are two of the most decorated footballers ever, having won a combined 79 official trophies during their senior careers. They've also broken the 50 goal barrier in a single season 11 times between them and are the only two players ever to score over 800 goals each for club and country. Comment down below who you guys think is a GOAT. But for now, let's take a look at how these two dominated world football. Messi's family moved to Spain when he was just 13 years of age so he could join Barcelona's La Masia Academy. Despite his small stature, Messi's quick feet and incredible vision made him stand out and it's said that he took HGH to help overcome his physical challenge. Ronaldo's journey, however, started in Madeira, Portugal where he practiced tirelessly, often with weights, strapped his legs to improve his speed. At just 12 years old, he left his family to join Sporting Lisbon's Youth Academy. But then, seven years later, his life would change forever. His performances at Sporting caught the eye of Manchester United, leading to a pivotal move that would set the stage for his rise to the very top. Now, Messi's transition to Barcelona's senior team was pretty quick. He made his first team debut at just 17 years old, and it was clear that he was something very special. His playing style was unlike anything seen before. His dribbling ability, vision and goal scoring prowess made him a nightmare for defenders. Messi's early career was marked by rapid progression. He quickly became a key player for Barcelona, scoring his first senior goal with a trademark chip over the goalkeeper. His low centre of gravity allowed him to weave through defenders effortlessly and his left foot became famous for his precision and power. By 2007, Messi was already being compared to legends like Diego Maradona, his hat-trick against Real Madrid in the El Clasico at just 19 years old was a statement. Messi was here to stay. Under the guidance of Frank Ricard and later Pep Guardiola, the tiki-taka playing style suited Messi perfectly and his understanding of teammates like Xavi and Iniesta was second to none. Together they created one of the most dominant club teams in history, winning multiple La Ligas and Champions Leagues. Ronaldo's move to Manchester United in 2003 was pretty much the reason for his rise to the very top. Under Sir Alex Ferguson's leadership, Ronaldo transformed from a flashy winger into a prolific goalscorer. His dedication to training and his desire to improve were evident from the very start. He spent countless hours perfecting his free kicks, his speed and his aerial ability, turning himself into a complete forward. Ronaldo's breakthrough season came in 2006-2007 when he scored 23 goals and helped United win the Premier League. The following season, he took his game to another level scoring 42 goals in all competitions and winning the Premier League Golden Boot. His performances were crucial in United's Champions League triumph in 2008, where he scored in the final against Chelsea. Ronaldo's ability to rise to the occasion in big games became a hallmark of his career. His pace, power and technique were unmatched, making him one of the most feared attackers in the world. Now 2009 is pretty much the year where this Messi-Ronaldo rivalry really started. Because this, of course, is a year when Ronaldo moved to Real Madrid for a record fee of £80 million. El Clasico wasn't just El Clasico anymore, but it was Messi versus Ronaldo. Between them, Messi and Ronaldo have shattered countless records together. Messi's 91 goals in a calendar year and Ronaldo's 17 goals in a single Champions League season. Do you know how mental that is? They have over 800 career goals each and 12 Ballon d'Ors between them. Seven for Messi and five for Ronaldo. Now those achievements are out of this world. Now Messi's goal scoring record in 2012 where he scored 91 goals in a calendar year is of course a testament to his brilliance. He broke Jared Muller's long-standing record and set a new benchmark for future generations. Ronaldo's Champions League record of 17 goals in a single season showcased his dominance on the biggest stage. Both players have consistently finished season with 50 plus goals a feat that was once considered impossible. Their ability to maintain such high standards over a prolonged period is what sets them apart from everyone else. Now, Messi and Ronaldo each have unique styles of play that has essentially allowed them to become the very best. Messi can glide past defenders with ease. His low center of gravity and extraordinary balance allow him to execute moves that seem impossible. He's not just a goal scorer, He's a playmaker, often dropping deep to create chances for his teammates. Messi's vision and passing ability are as impressive as his goal scoring. 
His knack for picking out the perfect pass and his quick intricate play with teammates make him a complete footballer. Now Ronaldo is a physical powerhouse known for his speed, aerial ability and devastating finishing. His evolution from a winger to a forward is a testament to his adaptability. Ronaldo's ability to score with both feet, his head and from long distance makes him a constant threat. His athleticism is unmatched. He's known for his incredible leaping ability and his ability to hang on the air for headers. Ronaldo's work ethic is legendary. He spends hours and hours perfecting his skills, ensuring he stays at the very top of his game. His dedication to fitness and conditioning has allowed him to maintain peak performance levels and a great physique well into his 30s. Now on the international stage, both have faced challenges but also have got a taste for glory. Messi led Argentina to the Copa America in 2021 and the ultimate prize, the World Cup in 2022. His journey with Argentina was filled with heartbreaks, including losses in Copa Americas and World Cup finals. Now, Ronaldo inspired Portugal to win the 2016 European Championships and the 2019 Nations. The defining moment though came in the Euro 2016 final, where despite injury, he motivated his team from the sidelines to secure a victory. Messi's entire career at Barcelona up until 2021 saw him become the club's all-time top scorer and assist provider. His vision and creativity transformed Barcelona's playing style. Under Pep Guardiola, Messi was integral to Barcelona's tiki-taka style, winning numerous titles and playing a key role in one of the greatest teams of all time. His chemistry with teammates like Xavi and Iniesta was unparalleled, creating a telepathic understanding on the field. Ronaldo's impact to Real Madrid was monumental, becoming the club's all-time leading goalscorer and a crucial figure in their four Champions League titles in five years. His time at Madrid was filled with unforgettable moments, including a hat-trick against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League semi-finals. And of course, who can forget his overhead kick against Juventus. Ronaldo's influence extended beyond just goal scoring, his presence and leadership. Now, this of course begs the question who I think is better. Well, I think just appreciate both of them, man, while it lasts. Now, Ronaldo probably only has a couple more years left in this sport. And Messi probably has a little time left too. And enjoy it while it lasts. Because there will probably never ever be two players as great as Messi and Ronaldo in the future.